Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Brady Sestilli of Dublin Jerome Football and Dublin Jerome Lacrosse. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing, Casey? Doing well. Um, so just kind of talk about just how this football season went for you. Yeah, um, like I said before, this football season, honestly, it was um, it was a really good season for us, regular season at least. Uh, we went 9-2, and two, managed to get uh, – number one seed going in the district playoffs and uh nobody no team at Jerome has ever been ranked that high so that was definitely a big accomplishment for us um I'd say the only letdown is we knew we could go a little bit farther in the playoffs but we were battling some injuries and uh stuff just kind of didn't go our way but overall great season great senior season I loved every bit of it yeah um you know just kind of talking about just you know what was it just what was it like out there just to just be a part of it? I mean, I've I feel like I've always been a part of it. My dad's been coaching for a very, very long time since before I was born. And so growing up, I was just always with him, always at his practices, watching, seeing what everyone's doing. So it's like I've always been surrounded by it. And it's kind of just always been my thing. Like, this is what I do. And it's kind of like I've always known this is what I'm going to do. So um you know beating you know obviously you're in a district with two neighboring schools um mm-hmm. what was it like uh, and you beat one of them this year yes sir the time that you beat anytime you beat one of those it's all it's always got to be good right yeah 100 percent. norm we we used to play Sayota every year and we used to usually get by them every year but Kaufman they were the big stick stick in the mud and the past three years we've lost to them we should have beat them last year um but they came back I think it was 42 or 43 45 some high scoring game and we lost and that I've never been that low that was really low point or low moment um but yeah that's after last year we knew there was no chance they were going to beat us this year the, with what we had on the field everyone coming together as seniors we knew they weren't going to beat us yeah um so I know that you know you recently you know made some news that uh you're going to be heading to Ohio this mm-hmm. uh um this yes, year to continue your college football career what mm-hmm. was what was that like um to make that decision because you just uh you just announced that just a few days ago yeah, yes, sir. Um, yeah I mean Ohio was obviously my first choice both my parents were alma maters there and so my mom ran track at OU and it's like everyone was pushing me to go to OU and it's like that was my number one choice. We were just waiting for the phone call to get um that scholarship and it came. So that's where I knew I was going as soon as I got that phone call. Yeah. Um to to go there and to play in the Mac conference, it's it's always uh it's always a big thing. What what's that gonna be like? I, I'm really excited, honestly. I I just can't wait to get there, start lifting. Hopefully, <laughs> can't wait till they put some weight on me, and then I can get to rolling. I'm really excited. What's it like being a linebacker? Got to be aggressive. I don't know. Being a linebacker isn't for everybody. You either you have it or you don't. It's like you can't be scared. Like you gotta if you gotta go head first into a pile of five dudes. That's what you gotta do. But you can't think about it. So just uh, um, give me some of the, I, I know that uh, it was a good season for you uh, for the high yep. school. Just kind of talk about, you know, your kind of your recap of the year and, and all that. Yeah. It was, it was a solid year for you guys. Yeah. Um. So I definitely say everyone, everyone thought we'd struggle with our first four games. Our first four games were really difficult. We had a Perrysburg, I think first, then we had Whitmer and then we had Kaufman third And then I forget who was the fourth game, but we had four stacked games just all back to back. And everyone was looking to see if we'd get by that. And uh, I think we did. um, Whitmer was a close game. Perrysburg, we kind of handled really well. First game of the season, we came out. I had the game winning stop. Um, That was a really good game. Came out of Whitmer the next week. I was sick all week. Didn't go to school once. And then showed up Friday, played the game. Uh, We were down the whole game. And then we ended up, coming back and winning 36 30 or something um and then obviously the next week we played Kaufman and pulled off another big win and so I'd say once we got past those three games it was kind of all moving up from there except for we were just battling injuries every week I think week six our all-state D tackle towards uh Achilles 
Um, we had our number one rider receiver at the time, I think, get out with a concussion and then not end up returning the rest of the season at week five or something. So we were battling some injuries. We had like a good six or seven starters that got hurt that were out for the season. Yeah. What what was it like to just, um, you know, just go through the senior year knowing that you guys could have a, I mean, a lot of people were not sure what to expect from you guys, but to have the yeah. year you did. I mean, I feel like if you go to Jerome, everyone, nobody's really going to ever expect anything from you guys. That's why it's really on you guys to prove what you want. And I think that's what our senior class did. I know I was a captain and our other few captains, we did a really good job at pushing everybody, getting everybody to where they needed to be and just getting us prepared for what we were about to do. Uh, how do you mentally prepare for a game? See, that's, that's a tough one because – Honestly, um, before our state championship, I've never really uh, before our state championship in lacrosse last year, it was a lot of anxiety going into that game. But I that I've never felt before. But it's weird with football. It's different. It's like I, I don't I, I don't I throw on the headphones, don't talk to anybody and just like let, let God do its work. So when I when I'm playing football, I don't get nervous. It's weird. It's like I'm just happy to be there. Um, you, you mentioned you did win a state, um, played in the state title game in lacrosse. What was that like? Yeah. So, uh, we've been in the state championship the past two years. Um, we won it my sophomore year actually. And then, uh, last year we played UA again. So it was two rematches in the state championship. And then we lost, uh, I think 10 to 12, I think last year in the state championship. So they 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 came back and got us, but we'll we'll see what happens this year. We're looking to get another one. Um, what what are uh, describe yourself on the football field? How would you how would someone describe you? Meanest player on the field. I, I mean, that's pretty much best way to put it. I'm gonna be the one that's making the plays. If you see a play happen on the field, it's most likely I, I'm gonna be involved in it. Or it's gonna be with me, but. I definitely, I'd say, if you ask any of my coaches, they tell you I'm the most aggressive player they know. Uh, what does football mean to you? Football is kind of just like a way of life for me. I feel like I feel like I've always just growing up. It's always just been about football. It's been what are you gonna do to get your school paid for? Because this is what's gonna take you to the next level. This is what's gonna take you, give you everything, connections, jobs. This is like the gateway, and so it was like. I felt like I've this has always been my first love and I felt like that I've always known this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Especially with me coming from a football family, definitely knew what my plan was going out of college. Yeah. What are you going to miss about high school football? So much. I'm definitely going to miss a lot. Um, I'd say definitely just my teammates growing up with those guys playing since we were fifth, fourth grade, I've been growing up with my boys and we've gone years of playing together. I think we've, we've, I think our total games lost with our senior class, like our seventh grade, our eighth grade, and then like our senior year, we only lost like four games in total. So I definitely just say my friends um, and just being able to grow up with them and uh, develop with them and just have the experiences we had that uh, or that I had with them yeah all right well let's get to know you a little bit um Brady how about that that sounds good um uh who was I mean obviously coming from a football family like yourself who was uh did you have any like players that you looked up to I said Troy Paul Mala. I'm a big Steelers fan we have season tickets down there um a lot of my family lived in Pittsburgh but I've always watched Troy Polamalu. Even though he's not a linebacker, he's still one of my favorite players to watch just because he doesn't fear anybody and he doesn't care how big you are. He He's one of the smaller guys on the field, but he will turn, he will turn you upside down. Um, okay. What is, um, is there like a, uh, what is your go-to place for food? Go-to place for food? Chipotle. Okay. Easy one. Get a, get a nice 1,500-calorie meal on, and we're good. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you think Chipotle and Qdoba are the same thing? Qdoba? I've never had Qdoba. Okay. That's, I, that's another. A lot of people think that Q, Chipotle and Qdoba are the same thing. 
I mean, I know uh, Chipotle and Baby Bop are pretty much the same thing. It's just Baby Bop's like Asian bistro or something like that. Yeah. So just walk up, have them pile food on the bowl. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Uh. TV or streaming show you're really into right now, or that you have been into? Um. Trying to think. I, I, watched I, Wednesday. Yeah, I'm not a big TV show guy. I watched Wednesday. I'd say a few weeks ago that new Netflix show uh, with the Adams family. Yeah. Um, don't 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 hate it. If you haven't watched it, yeah, that show is pretty good. <laughs> it's it's it, the reason why I ask that. It's it's always interesting to see what what um what people watch. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I usually I do my homework and then I just turn on YouTube. So, hey that's ad that's actually where this video is going to be too <laughs> yes it is yes it is yeah. Uh. yeah um by the way hit that subscribe button down there too um so let's see favorite um what do you like to watch on youtube i, I like to watch destroying i watch all of his one-on-one -on -one videos um i i gotta go with all the classics nelk um Danny Duncan's good. I don't know. I just go on the homepage, see whatever's interesting. I like to watch uh the my first million dollars, watch NFL players, see what they spend their mi first mill on. So yeah, I just watch pretty much whatever interests me on the homepage. Okay. Um, favorite team to root for? Steelers. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Um. Uh, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, I'd say I fly. Okay. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how well are you at replying to text messages? Ooh, I'd say five, four maybe. <laughs> Not very good. If you text me, the thing is, if you text me, I'll see it and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah I'll respond, and then I'll just completely forget about it, and then I won't see it till like two, three days later. Oh, okay. So. So it's, it's all, it all depends is if it's on top of my uh, phone when I, when I open it, because yeah. if it's not, then I won't see it. Yeah. And if you have your red receipts on, people think you're ghosting you. See, well, I, yeah. Oh, see, I might've done that to you then. I don't know. <laughs> I see. I didn't know you can turn that off though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to go turn that off after this. <laughs> I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, I, I'm not a tech savvy guy, so. <laughs> uh, and finally, what is something people might not know about you? I don't know. I'm an open book. Uh, I would say both my parents went to OU. Um, it's a tough question. People, I guess most people don't know I play lacrosse. And like most people who, everyone at my school knows I play lacrosse, but if you don't know me and you're just looking at my um, social media, you uh, probably wouldn't assume I play lacrosse. Okay. All, right. All right. Well, Brady, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and best of luck yeah. Ohio next year. Yeah. Thank you, Casey. You had a great time.